Hello Internet, I am Xenon and this is Magisite. So this is a uh, an indie game uh, that's kind of like a uh, roguelike dungeon crawler permadeath thing, but it's got a bit of a focus on uh, resource gathering as well. So I've played a, a little so far, um, this is like the little character screen. So the races, I've unlocked the Noble and the Dwarf, and I did that on my very first attempt. All you have to do for this one is kill 15 monsters, and that one is... Acquiring first skill, so hitting level 5 basically. But yeah, so I think I will go with the Noble. It's um, similar to the, the Peon that you first start with, except he starts with a Stone Axe, which lets you get wood a bit easier. And there's also mentioned something about um, a much larger influence on the expansion in Deep Haven, which I'm guessing is the towns. Um, so I assume that depending on what skills you choose, you influence what kind of shops are in the towns. Uh, there's variants, uh, it was just male and female on the peon, this one's got nothing. And then I can choose a hat, I've only unlocked one so far, which is 33% um, chance on level to get an additional attack stat. So it doesn't hurt anything, I might as well use it, because his mouth makes him look a bit weird. Then they've got um, a bit of a... A, a randomized stat gen. So here there's gatherer and big eater. If I hit stats, it randomizes. So this is woodcutter and defensive. So one I like is... Oh, that'd be an interesting one. No durability loss, or 50% chance. So I like potion brewer because you get extra... Uh, well you get big potions straight up. And gatherer would work well with it, except I've got like magic that I don't want. I was in Big Eater. Big Eater seems to be bad, but I'm not entirely sure. Try not to take too long. We we'll get one that's got Potion Brewer. Because it seems to be my favourite stat so far. It's Intellect. Aggressive. Damn it. That was Potions. Okay, extra. Ah, oh, there's no attack. Damn it. <laughs> um. No. Alright. This will be good enough. It's extra HP. Whatever. So, this is the first area. Um, the, the levels or stages, whatever you want to call them, are called districts in this game. So this is the first district. And there's a lot that seems to be going on on the screen at the moment. Essentially these flying cubes will hit me and cause one damage if I let them touch me. Uh, there's a boar down there, I probably don't want to get near. But we'll delve straight into the crafting system because I need a sword. So basically you split things and then you combine them. So if I hold shift and click on them, I combine them together. So I turn wood into planks and then planks into a wooden blade. I actually need some more wood and I just ran off the edge. I'm going to die here because there's a boar right at the start. Ah, yeah I'm dead. Okay, whatever. So that's death. I have discovered that if there's a boar immediately, you might as well play again. So that's just keeping the same stats essentially that I had before. So if you find a character you like um, from randomizing, you can play it as long as you want in one sitting essentially. So I've got a whole bunch of wood and sticks. So we'll combine that again, give us um, a wooden blade, then I combine one of these with a stick to get a sword hilt, put those together and get myself a sword. So similarly I can combine these two together to get an axe handle and then with another stick to get a pick handle and then you do that and you get another blade and then you get a pick. So the way to learn these crafting recipes is basically trial and error, you, you keep going. If I had another stick to the uh, pick handle I would have got a uh, un basically a bow that needs to be strong and you get string from you know, spider webs um, combining them together but yeah it's all just trial and error figuring it out one thing I don't like is that you have to spam click to attack you can't just hold it down and it's more um, not so much attacking that it comes into play damn it because I'm gonna die Wow, fails. So far I have been a lot better than this peon variant 3. Okay, so you unlock variants too. Did not know that. Um, 
But yeah, generally I'm better than I'm playing right now. I blame it on recording, um, or just, you know, trying to show things off and skip. And there's way too many aggressive things down here, so I'm just going to kill myself in this one. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> okay, here we go. This is a bit better. Basically, at the start, you need easy access to some trees so you can make your, your pick and your sword and whatever else, depending on what you start with, because different uh, races start with different items. But at least you guys get to see the crafting system in uh, full swing. Like so. There we go. And that's how you craft your beginning stuff. Yeah, so to craft um, potions, when I find some herbs, you just combine them together. There seems to only be two types of herbs. Or at least that's what I've found so far. And they're basically a blue one and a green one. Guess what they do? The green ones combine them together, you get health. Blue ones is mana. Fairly standard, there you go, let's go to green one from the slime. Fairly standard, um, whatchamacallit, you know, gaming stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we, we combine these together, they get big HP potion, and that is purely because I've got the, um, the potion brewer thing, otherwise I'd get a small one, only heals one. Big one heals five, and that's much better. To make a big one, if you don't have the, the potion thing, you just combine two small ones. Essentially, it takes four herbs to make a, a big potion rather than two. If you combine a green herb and a blue one together, which is a mushroom, um, then you get a mystery potion. That seems, so far, it... it um, uh, Okay, I'm almost dead. So we'll use a potion. So far the mystery potions that I've had seem to just um, give you mana. Except for, uh, well they give you mana for a while, damn it. And then when you use them up they kind of explode or do nothing. I've only done it twice so far. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Damn bees, I hate them. So much. Mana cap. That's cool. Figure out what that is later. And there's a chest, so you can randomly find these all over the place. And I found a key. Okay, that's interesting. First key I've ever found. And if you haven't guessed, using stone great blade. Okay, we're going to put that on a sword. That's a cool loot from a chest that I've never seen. Oh, hello. The slime. That's one thing, when you're in your inventory, you'd have to watch out for being attacked. Because it can happen at any time. Uh, go like that. Then combine them. Nope. So stone great blade. What would I put a great blade on? See, that, that's the thing in this game. You find something new and you have to figure out how you might use it. That's just a random key. Monster bones, you combine two of those together to make um, refined bone that you can then use to make items and stuff. Stone great blade. I have no idea what to do with that. Damn, be nice if I do. Probably do something cool. Alright, so instead we'll make a wooden sword. And then we need a pick. So, okay, standard. You're getting fairly used to that by now. Generally, I make it to the um, second district on every run, but yeah, doing bad at the moment. Please forgive me. So this B, I might see if I can just avoid rather than get myself killed. I'm guessing that key is for chess because there is a um, stat ability thing that allows you to open chests without keys. So. I'm assuming further on in other areas I'll encounter a chest that doesn't need a key. And at least that um, shows me how to get keys as well. So this thing here is a spider. They're usually fairly easy to kill without getting hit. Unless you fail like I didn't let him jump on you. So wait for the 
these blocks. Get this herb. This mushroom. Oh, crit. So there are critical hits, but you seem to do double damage. I've lost five health, so I use a potion. Only way I've found heal so far is potion. Uh, stuff getting that rock. There's a block that goes right on top of it. But yeah, uh, potions and from food if you cook it. Um, those are the only two ways I have seen of gaining uh, health back. And to cook food, you find coal from the stones when you mine stuff. Mine two coal together, make a fire starter, use that to make a little campfire, and then spam right click with the food on top of the fire. Took a bit of trial and error to figure that one out, I can tell you. Oh, I've seen someone else playing that has no idea how to cook, so it was pretty amusing. Didn't take me too much to figure it out. So what I'm doing now, and that, is I'm making a better pick. So with the stone pick, let me just ditch the wooden one now. With the stone pick, I'll get um, the chance for two items out of a rock instead of just stone. So it lets me get stuff like iron ore, um, gold I think is a possibility. Let's kill this boar. So generally, you let them charge, you jump over, and you stab. Reminds me a lot of Dark Souls, be patient, use the enemy's pattern to your advantage, and eventually it dies. Just like that. So there we go, so I got coal there and stone, so I'm halfway to being able to cook some raw food. Or being able to cook food that was raw to begin with. No one only got stone, so it's just a, a chance to get more resources, basically. The uh, levels do seem to be fairly linear. I haven't hit any dead ends ever yet. It's always um, a clear path to follow. Not sure if they plan to inc you know, increase the complexity or level design or anything. They are randomly generated. Uh, there is a little dash like that, too, which is good if you're getting stuck. Yeah, there's also multiplayer, so if I get a chance, I'll see if uh, one of the guys will play this, and then we can try that out. So if that means to grumble, means I'm hungry. Um, not too bad yet, though. Stuff, fighting a spider, around all of that. Get picky, you can go for a trip. And there you go, hit level 5, so that means I can choose a stat to level up. And the red one, um, I'm guessing it's magic, uh, sorry, like physical magic and like a dexterity rogue kind of thing. Um, so far I've leveled the red one and I've hit level 10, which let me do it twice. So the first one gives you like a shield skill that either gives, makes you take half damage or one less damage, I'm not sure, because the things that were hitting me were only doing two damage, so I was taking one. And then uh, the next one is Boots, I never actually used the skill, but I assume it gives you a, a dash. Uh, blue one, first skill, gives you um, like a 100% chance to crit when it's active. And then green one I've never tried, so let's try that. So if I go like Sword, get him to come over here. Come on, there we go. So I hit the button. And that does... What? What's that mean? <laughs> oh, I broke my sword. <laughs> okay, switch to the axe. Okay, maybe it just lights up the enemy? Oh, it puts a light wherever I hit. Maybe I can put that on top of something. Interesting. Uh, like that. And then... Actually, maybe I didn't want that. Stuff that. Let's make a bone sword. Oh, I need another one. Like that. And then... Gets a little confusing sometimes. The bone sword just does a bit more damage. I've got the stuff for it now, though. And if you haven't noticed, they get bones from just killing monsters. A little more damage. It helps. Leveling up does increase your damage fairly significantly, so it's always good to get that. <laughs> uh, when is it not good to get more damage? Okay, so these doors here are the end of the level. Oh, that's a bad rock to go for. 
just took two damage to nothing. Uh, from what I can tell, the color of this determines what type of area you get next. So far, I've already gone through the green ones, which is forest, so I'm sticking with that. Oh! Oh, hang on. I thought it hadn't taken me to a village then, but it has. So there's little shops, and then there's dudes walking around. As far as I can tell, you just kill these guys, and you get money. They don't seem to do anything else. This guy here lets you smelt stuff, so I did get a bit of iron ore. And there we go. Except you need three of that in order to make an armor. Like you just plonk them in here so you get helm, chest piece and shield. Um, might have enough for that stuff. I usually do, so obviously I didn't get to mine as much that time. Might as well make some potions while we're here. I can sell the shrooms and then we use magic. Some monster pelts and some coal. So let's go ahead and cook. I do that, because I'm going to need food. We'll get up somewhere that's away from all the shops, put down the fire, and just spam right cook. And there we go, I've got four cooked meat. So time to eat, you poop, and there you go, I healed one, and I'm as full as I'm going to get at the moment. So yeah, nothing else to smelt, kind of pointless coming back here. Then there's also shops, so I've got 178 coins up the top, so I can't buy any of this. That's a, a crazy looking pick, I have no idea. It's a special kind of thing, or it's just the way the gold one looks. Uh, again, there's nothing worth buying here that I can afford. But I can kill some people. They ain't give me that much. Uh, this guy here, you can sell items to. So, I might as well sell him a key. Because odds are I'm not going to be able to use it. I'll die before that. Might as well sell the stone great blade, because I have no idea what it does, or how to use it. Spider webs could be useful to make a bow later. Um, probably won't get that far. I'll keep that for now. And let's see what we can make over here. So if I go into my inventory, I don't have much mods to hide. I've got a few pelts. Maybe I can use this guy for pelts, uh, for refined cloth. I'm not sure if that works. No. But you put. Um, Refined monster hide here. You can uh, create that cloth, then use three of these to make a helm or a chest piece. Um, is there a guy that deals? Here we go. He's probably this guy. Apparently, he needs to poop so he can die. Okay, this guy. So he wants cloth plus some kind of ingot. So let's see if I can do it with stone. Yes. All right. So I can actually do something. And there's a. Helmet. Let's go for chest piece instead. Rugged robes, H points, and magic. So from what I can tell is this one is HP magic. The dude over here with the monster hides is HP and dex. And then if you make stuff from uh, the, the ingots, you get HP and attack. So that's the, the three different builds there. You know, red, green, and blue. So it's interesting to figure that out anyway. It's the first time I've actually made the, the magic ones. So now I know that's uh, pointless to do. And I'm probably much more likely to want to go full on... Um, what do you call it? <laughs> Ingot way. To get better armor. As I'm... I seem to be mainly physical at the moment. But... Let us try... And her new sit still. Does that hurt you? What the heck does that do? Maybe there's dark areas in the game and that helps. That's a beehive down there. If you destroy it, a whole bunch of bees come out. Um, and then you kill them and it's just like killing any other bee. So, the point of it is... Um, I don't know what the point is. This is rather difficult. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Bee plus flying blocks plus boar equals I'm dead. Now you get extra scores, sometimes you know you saw you get unlocks and whatever else. But that is it on that for now. Let's just have a look at the hat we unlocked. Mining gear, 25% chance of yielding another ore. So that would be awesome. I'd rather use that than the uh, extra attack. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of hats to unlock. Um, yeah. And then there's a bunch of races too. Highest district seems to be 10 because you get this one for reaching district 10. So, four, I'm not quite halfway in where I've managed to get. But anyway, that's the game. This guy starts with random gear, so this time he's got a pick handle and a sword hill. 
you know, standard stuff. Anyway guys, that is it for now. So thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.